If what you mean by Zionism is a religion-grounded defense of Israel based on some three or four thousand year old claim of some alleged promise of God to Abraham that his descendants would have this, which some people take it to mean, then obviously I'm not a Zionist. But Zionism has come to mean something else altogether. Because if you don't believe that Jewish people deserve to have a place where they're safe, or at least relatively safe on this planet, you're blind to the six million people that were slaughtered in Europe within the last century by the Nazis, or the thousands upon thousands of people who've been discriminated against, ghettoized, and killed in Muslim countries around the world if you're Jewish. If you believe that Zionism is simply Israel needs to exist, Jewish people need a safe place, then anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism. There's a total equation of the two these days. It's code. Right of return is also code. Destroy Israel. So anti-Zionism now in most people's vocab is destroy Israel. In a world of our current context, racism rearing its ugly head in a violent way and directed against Jews. If I compare Israel to the surrounding states, it is the comparatively secular state. It is the place where religious minorities, who are not Jews, have rights. That does make them legitimate in a fundamental way. But is it also a safe place for Jews to go and live? Yes. America is often called systemically racist when it comes to African Americans. The truth is that African Americans represent between 12 or 13 percent of the U.S. population. Less than 3 percent of America's population is Jewish. But around 60 percent of all the reported hate crimes in the United States are against Jewish people. I'm talking about violence, threats, swastikas painted on synagogues, Jewish students heading to school having screamed at them that they should die. Or, we saw in Sydney, gas the Jews being yelled by crowds. In New York City, swastikas being lifted up. It's rank, naked anti-Semitism. Stephen Fry, the well-known British actor, comes out and simply has a statement against anti-Semitism, famous for his atheism, but part Jewish in his heritage. And he wasn't making a political statement. That wasn't a full-throated defense of Israel or destroying Hamas. All he was distressed at were the rising instances of anti-Semitism in the United Kingdom. And Miss Aboot from Channel 4 has to come down on him like a ton of bricks. You see where the power lies. You see where the problem is. It's people like Stephen Fry complaining about rising anti-Semitism. Wow. When you just lift the surface here, just take off the lid just a little bit, you can see the real live ugly anti-Semitism that lies under this. Anti-Zionism equals anti-Semitism. Right of return means anti-Semitism. They want Israel and Jews destroyed when they use this code language.